over with. What up? This is Devontae from Devontae's Paradise. We got your boy Gucci Man in the building. Another rapper. Yes, I know. Uh, I consider this his first album, Stay vs. Radrick Davis. He has plenty of other projects. This nigga got a million fucking projects at this point. So, but these are the projects I consider to be his mainstream, <clears throat> his mainstream uh, joints. If you can see on the screen right here, he has nine albums. He has way more than nine albums, mixtapes. I'm telling you, this nigga got more albums than fucking E-40. He's like, him and E-40 have the most albums. I condensed them down. Uh, let's get into it. Stay versus Radrick Davis. Oh, wait, before I get into this. Because I always got the little side information. I just, I, I get the side information from, from, from the birdies. Um, so, Gucci Man and Jeezy. I don't know if I said this on the Jeezy video. That was so long ago. But um, Gucci Man and Jeezy are in a beef that can never be ended uh, because somebody got killed. Basically, uh, yeah, somebody got killed. I, I can definitely, I can definitely say that. I should be able to say this. Um, Gucci Man was just trying to defend himself. Allegedly, Jeezy put a hit on him, and Gucci Man got himself in a situation, defended himself. Uh, in Atlanta, you can shoot and kill somebody in your own house, and it's considered self-defense. But you can't do that. Allegedly, you can't do that anywhere else. Now, I'm not condoning doing this. It's a very bad idea. But... This is what I, this is this, this, this the shit that I heard. So, it was all over the Icy song. And uh, Gucci Man and T.I. are beefing as well. So, if you notice, Gucci Man, T.I., and Jeezy are from the same, I don't want to say city, let's just say state. But Gucci Man, T.I., and Jeezy have never collaborated. T.I. and Jeezy have collaborated. Gucci Man collaborates with Rick Ross as well. I'm not quite sure why. Wait, no, because Rick Ross is from Miami. Rick Ross isn't from Atlanta. But T.I. and Jeezy do not fuck with Gucci, man. So, most of my hip-hop heads notice that I, I gear this towards everybody. I expect everybody to watch this. Uh, so, whatever audience I do get, they they do have an understanding on this. Now, um... I think I did a brief intro on T.I. and I did a brief intro on Jeezy. Uh, the reason why Gucci Man and Jeezy are beefing is over a song. And, uh, basically, somebody allegedly got killed over it. And then T.I. and Gucci Man, they just, they don't vibe. They don't, I guess they don't vibe, but, you know, I don't know too much about it. But they did have a little uh, Instagram beef. Because T.I. claimed he started trap music and then somebody from Gucci's camp said that Gucci started trap music. I, for me personally, I kind of believe that Gucci man created that shit. I, you know, I, I'm just saying, I, I think Gucci man created this shit because he, he can just go in on this shit. Like, Gucci man is the best trap artist. You know? Me personally, he just, it's like, it's like water to him. He just makes it. And plus he puts so many people on. T.I. and Jeezy don't put as much people on. Gucci Man's probably in, he, he seems like he's the type of person that's actually in the community. And T.I. and Jeezy seem to be just doing their own thing. So let's go into this first album, Stay vs. Radrick Davis. Let's, let's go over the features, man. So we got Lil Wayne, Cameron, Rick Ross, Waka Flocka Flame, Soldier Boy, Usher, Jason Caesar, Keisha Cole, Bobby V, Nicki Minaj, Trina, Who the Kid, OJ the Juice Man, Plies, Bun B, Devin the Dude, E40, 
Frenchie, Joel Santana, Big Boy, DJ, DG Yola, Young Ralph. It looks like Young Dolph. That's where, Yo Gotti. Oh, Yo Gotti and, and fucking... Oh, I'm so tired. I gotta go into this, though. So... Yo Gotti and Gucci Man allegedly got in a beef over uh, Keisha Dior. I don't know if Gucci Man is with her or not now, but allegedly Yo Gotti claimed he smashed Keisha Dior. So Yo Gotti and Gucci Man don't really fuck with I don't think they have a beef, but they just don't really fuck with each other. So we have, oh, we have Shauna in the game. The I Might Be song is from his previous album, Back to the Trap House, where he had that song, uh, Freaky Girl. I should add that album. That song was the shit. Anyway, so now we go into Gucci Man's second album. Gucci Man was fighting some type of charge. I can't remember what the fucking charge was. But this is the reason for the... Oh, yeah. Wait. I'm all over the place right now. Let's go over the singles. Lemonade. Sex. The one with Usher, Spotlight. Wasted. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm 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 connect I'm seeing I'm seeing something here, right? Hold on, we gotta check this out. We gotta check this out. Cause Gucci Man did a song called Wasted. This is 2008, right? So keep that image, keep that image in your head, right? So let's go to Jeezy now. Yeah, they, they probably been stealing from this nigga. They probably definitely been stealing because T.I. and Jeezy came out before. Okay. And... Uh, oh, what the fuck was I thinking? That song's called Lose My Mind. I'm losing my mind. And then I switched it. I got the, the version with Drake on it. That seemed... It seemed like... It seemed like the same thing, though. Like, if you heard the song, if you heard Lose My Mind and Wasted, they sound the exact same. In, in my personal opinion, they sound the exact same. Um, anyway, let's go back into it. I'm sorry I had to, I had to do that. I had to, had to see that. Uh, different titles, but they do sound the same. So let's go over the features for the Gucci Band's second album. We got Bun B, Swiss Beats, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg isn't originally on that Party Animal song. It's a version I got. So we got Ray J, Nicki Minaj, Pharrell, Swiss Beats, Wyclef John, Estelle, Trey Songs. And that's about it. Now we got Trap House 3. This is Fat Gucci Man. You know what I'm saying? Big Gucci Man. Big Gucci. Wait, what was the singles? Cause I, I this this album brings me back. Oh, I almost forgot something. Don't play the song. Do not play the song. What was the singles? I think only Gucci time. And Gucci Man was on an interview claiming that uh, he was like, man, they trying to make me seem like I'm T.I. or some shit. I ain't T.I. and this, this, that. That probably contributed to the beef as well. It don't seem like there's any singles really for this. They just got Swiss Beats and Gucci Man together. So let's go to Trap House 3. Let's go over the features. So we got Rick Ross, Sigpen, Two Chains, Wiz Khalifa, Rich Homie Kwan, 
Chief Keef, Shadi Law, Pee Wee Longway, Young Dolph, Young Scooter, Rich Homie Kwan. I already said Rich Homie Kwan. And Young Thug. See, this is when Rich Homie Kwan and Young Thug used to work together. I'm going to go over that when I get to Young Thug. When I get to a brief intro of Young Thug. There's no singles on this. Um, niggas like this album, though, so. My favorite song on this album is Point of My Life. That's my joint. That's the joint I always go to. Then we got uh, Stay vs. Radrick Davis, too. When he was working with the Meagles way back in 2014. Young Scooter vs. Simmons. Pee Wee Longway. Young Dolph. Rocco. And Young Thug. He'd been helping Young Dolph out too. Young Dolph is dope. Every time he gets on a feature, Young Dolph goes goes in too. And Gucci Man went to jail. I forgot what he went to jail for. But he went to jail. <laughs> now this is funny, right? Cause look at this. Um I, again, I don't go too close into Illuminati or talking about the women, the men and women war or beef. I always talk about them very briefly. But, you know, I just don't want to go too much into that shit. But let's start from the beginning, right? So, Gucci Man went to jail for whatever reason. He was there for about two or three years, he got off. When he got out, he used to be fat. That's why I said fat Gucci at the beginning of the video. When he got out, he looked so fucking different that people were like, this nigga is a fucking clone. Everybody thought this nigga was a clone. And I, I think that was interesting. Again, um, I can only speculate. I, I don't think it's a clone, but, I, you know, I don't know. I don't like to throw out things that I don't know. Well, I talk with certain friends about certain things, but those are only suggestions. I don't know. I don't like to reinforce things that I don't really know about. I usually like to throw things out there to, to see how the other person's gonna react. And then I try to throw other things out there. I just like to see how other people react. So, Gucci Man comes out. Everybody's claiming he's a clone, right? He drops this album. There was a song called First Day Out. And if you look closely, now don't get too creeped out, okay? But I see it. If you look closely at the back, at his back, it looks like some type of fucking demon. It looks like some type of fucking demon. And then if you look at his hands, Look at the way he's holding his hands. This is horns. I always thought that was interesting. When I looked at this album cover, I was like, why did they choose to do it like that? I don't know. You know, you, you, I want you guys to, you know, put the pieces together and figure everything out. So let's go over the features. Drake got on it with Gucci Man, Kanye West, and Young Thug. And that's it. Singles is first day out. I think back on road. I think he just did videos. Gucci don't even do singles at this point. Oh, so now we got the return of East Atlanta and Santa. I got this album because of the, the joint with Drake. The first joint with Drake, Back on Road, I didn't really like it. Both, both is dope. Let's go over the features. 
Drake, Bryson Tiller, Travis Scott. And that's about it. I added a couple songs. This is a very short album. Both is the shit. So now Gucci gets back into his bag. We got Mr. Davis. At this point, Gucci man is damn near ready to meet Beyonce and fucking Jay-Z. Something we never thought would happen. But Gucci man was able to clean up his image. So he was more appealing. So I don't know if he met them, but whatever. Let's let's go over the features. So we got the Migos, Flim Jimmy, from Ray Shremmerd, 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 Young Dolph, The Weeknd, Ty Dolla Signs, Big Sean, Monica, Schoolboy Q, Chris Brown, Mickey Minaj, ASAP Rocky, and Rico Love. Then we got Evil Genius. Let's go over the features. Quavo, 21 Savage, NBA Youngboy. Quavo. I already said Quavo. Kevin Gates, Bruno Mars. Kodak Black. Little Yachty. And Little Skies. I like this album cover. Seemed like he losing his mind. Or it seemed like it's showing that. What the fuck was that? Feel like he's just all over the place. I like the simplistic album covers too. Let's go over to his final album. Not his final album, his newest album. Oh, seeing that 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 the features list the feature list gets more interesting. Let's go over to the features. We got Meek Mill, Annuel AA, Gunna, Little Baby, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber and Gucci Man. Je I never in my fucking life would have thought that shit would have happened. Gucci Man and fucking Justin Bieber. Jeremiah, a boogie with the hoodie. Nave Monio. Wiz Khalifa, Rick Ross, Little Uzi Vert. Young Dolph. Pee Wee Longway. And DJ Drum. So, yeah, I'm thinking this is about it as far as Gucci, man. Always. Gucci, man, reminds me of a more pop version of Boozy Badass. You're going to hate Boozy Badass just because of the image. And I think there's just a lot of colorism issues as far as just this world. But once you actually listen to them, it's, it's really not that bad. It's good. It's it's good music. It's not bad. It's just it's all about image and, and there's colorism issues and all that. So um, I implore everybody to listen to Gucci Man. I'm sure a lot of people are like, who's Gucci Man? Well, this is Gucci Man. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Gucci Man. Do you like him? Do you hate him? <laughs> anyway, peace.